We are a nation that has the highest inflation in 50 years where banks are collapsing and interest rates are far too high. Likewise, we are a nation where energy costs have reached the highest in our history. We're no longer energy independent or energy dominant as we were just three short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela and many others for oil. Please, please, please help us, Joe Biden says. And yet we have more liquid gold right under our feet than any other country. We are a nation that is consumed by the radical left's Green New Deal. Yet everyone knows that the Green New Deal will lead to our destruction. We are a nation whose leaders are demanding all electric cars, even though they can't go far, cost too much, and whose batteries are produced in China with materials only available in China when an unlimited amount of gasoline is available inexpensively in the United States of America, but is not available in China. We are a nation that ended oil exploration and production in the United States, just as the price of oil reached an all-time high. What other country would do such a thing? We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment anywhere in the world. We are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. It would never have happened with me as your Commander-in-Chief, and for four straight years, it didn't happen. China and Taiwan will be next. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've got a federal Bureau of Investigation that won't allow bad election-changing facts to be presented to the public and which offers $1 million to a writer of fiction about Donald Trump to lie and say it was actually fact. Where Hunter Biden's laptop from hell was Russian disinformation and the FBI knew it wasn't. And the Department of Justice that refuses to investigate egregious acts of voting irregularities and fraud. And we have a man who is the worst president in the history of our country who is cognitively impaired, in no condition to lead, and is now casually talking about nuclear war with Russia. He has no idea what he's even talking about. This war would be World War III and far more devastating than any of the previous world wars because of the weaponry that no one even wants to think about or discuss. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is all you get, and they are the enemy of the people. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant and out of control like never before. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon would have never happened, and China to use the trillions of dollars it has taken from us to build a military that will rival our own. And just two years ago, we had Iran, China, Russia, and North Korea in check. They weren't going to do a thing against us, and everyone knows it. Now Russia and China are united and holding summits to carve up the world. And perhaps most importantly, we are a nation that is no longer respected or listened to on the world stage. 
We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. And we are a nation that is hostile to liberty, freedom, and faith. We are a nation whose economy is collapsing, whose supply chain is broken, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the very bottom of every single list. We are a nation where large packs of sadistic criminals and thieves are allowed to go into stores and openly rob them, beat up and kill their workers and customers, and leave with armloads of goods, but with no retribution, where the authority of our great police has been taken, where their families and pensions have been threatened, and their lives would be destroyed for the mere mention of the words law enforcement. We are a nation where fentanyl and all other forms of illegal drugs are easier to get than formula for our beautiful little babies. A nation where once revered airports are dirty, they're a crowded mess. You sit and wait for hours and then are notified that the plane won't leave and they have no idea when it will. Where ticket prices have tripled, they don't have the pilots to fly the planes, they don't seek qualified air traffic controllers, and they just don't know what the hell they are doing. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, its willpower, and its strength. We are a nation that has lost its way but we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Two years ago, we were a great nation, and we will soon be a great nation again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. We started with you at my side. We will banish the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists and we will cast out the communists and Marxists. We will throw off the corrupt political class. We will beat the Democrats. We will rout the fake news media. We will stand up to the rhinos and we will defeat. Joe Biden and every single Democrat. We will liberate America from these villains and tyrants who are looking to destroy our country. No matter what they throw at us, no matter what they do to us, we will not bend, we will not break, we will not yield. We will never give in, we will never give up, we will never ever back down. We will complete the mission. We will cross the finish line. We will demolish tyranny, and we will rescue freedom, liberty, and justice. And we will restore the American Republic to all of its greatness and glory greater than ever before. My fellow citizens, this incredible journey we are on together has only just begun. We are one movement, one people, one family and one nation under God. With your help, your prayers, your vote, and your unwavering love for this country, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Texas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.